could you be? Sun when I need you, well, I'm Shani. Hello, it's your girl Gara with Lamini, the answer to all your prayers. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now on this channel, what about good times, good vibes, and good chats? baby so if that's what you're all about and you're looking for some great content make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every single time i upload a video give this video a very big thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below because i love to know what you think baby yeah. guys i come back it has been a ridiculously long minute <laughs> It has been a ridiculously long minute, guys. I missed you guys. I hope you guys missed me as much as I missed you. Your girl is back and she's better for sure. I am going to be bringing you guys heat after heat after heat after heat after heat. So I just need you guys to sit back, relax, and enjoy. So as you guys can already see by the title of this video, today's video is a never have I ever. It's going to be very short very sweet we are getting back into the mojo basically but it is also going to be very spicy so for those of you who don't know how this game works if i have done something i take a sippity sip 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 of the percentages if i have not done something then i just say i have not and we move on to the next thing i will say that some of these never have i ever questions are a bit <laughs> But it's okay, it's okay. We are playing and we're gonna make this fun. So I'll just take a sip to get us started. And without further ado, let us get into today's video. So the very first one says that never have I ever been a side chick. Not by choice, my love. I have never chosen personally in my own capacity to be a side chick yomdu. I have never, you know. But with that being said, Bendy is side chick because I didn't know that there was a man and I thought I was the man. But <laughs> guess what? Banna, baka weza popai. And if you don't learn, you will continue to be a what? Say it with me now. A clown. Nonetheless, let's drink to all our clownery moments. yeah moving right along the next one says never have i ever went through my boyfriend's phone child that'd be the reason why i'm single as fuck <laughs> ah, i'm so dead guys that is one of the reasons why a lot of my relationships have ended because i go through my boyfriend's phones what reason do you have to give me for me not to go through your phone why am I not going through your phone? Are you crazy? <laughs> in your mind, one thing about me, I will go through your phone. So prepare yourself because before I come and see you. Like, make sure you delete everything that needs to be deleted. Then I won't see anything. But if you're not smart, also, I will whatever tomba with you. I rest. The next one says, Never have I ever peed in the pool. Child, I was probably like, I don't know. But I know I was very young. Like when I was a child. I mean, guys, which child hasn't peed in the pool? If you in the pool. Woo! <laughs> How do you pee in the pool? <laughs> like what the hell is that? Anyway, if as a child, guys, at some point you peed in the pool. In the pool. Pool. P double O L. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on with my tongue today. It doesn't want to speak. Anyway, the next one says, gone the whole, never have I ever gone the whole day without brushing my teeth. Personally, I don't remember that ever happening. I don't remember, because even as a child, like my mom would force me every single morning to brush my teeth. I like, should stand at the door until I finish brushing my teeth. So, cha, no. Not that I remember. The next one says, never have I ever bought my boyfriend a gift. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing buying boyfriend gifts? What What are you doing buying Indota a gift? Guys, guys, we need to get on the same page. Indota deserves nothing. Zilch. Zero. N not even Boroto, Boroto. Kere, Indota deserves 
nothing. Why? Because he will embarrass you. Do you understand? So he buys you gifts to make up for the embarrassment that he causes you. You don't buy him gifts for embarrassing you, child. Hell no. I have never and I will never buy Indota a gift. Period. Unless I get married. If I get married, then maybe I'll buy my husband a gift. As for Kwangoku, Sos and Dagabao, I will never take out a cent to make Indo that happy. Woo! In which world? Definitely not mine. <laughs> imagine, just imagine what an absurd and disturbing image that is. Spending money on Indo that, Oh my god, I'd be scarred for life. Anyway. The next one says, never have I ever dated a friend's ex. Never. Someone explain to me, what are you doing dating your friend's ex? Like, Ichomia, my chum's ex. Child, if you've done that, do consent a little bit. Like, my chat is like, <sighs> You know, even for me personally, now maybe it's just me, and it's okay. We all have different friendships for one, and values for two. Which is not to say that somebody who dates their friend's ex has lower values than somebody who doesn't. But yeah. Anyway, for me personally, even if my friend had to say, "No, friend, go ahead," like you know, like him and I were never like that. I would never, I would never date anybody that my friend has been involved with firstly i will never see them in that way because i know that my friend's been there so what reason do i have looking at my friends firstly what reason do i have to speak to my friend's ex that's the very first problem if you speak to your friend's exes please delete those numbers it's not cute what are you doing speaking to your friends you're not fixing their relationship because they exes for a reason so what are you doing speaking to your friend's exes hmm this friendship chat is something we need to do on this channel because some people move very funny i'm not gonna lie i know a particular human being let me tell you who when one of my friends ne, is interested in someone and this girl finds out ne, she will intentionally guys i kid you not intentionally make sure that she speaks to that guy just so she can go to my friend and say Oh, you know, I spoke to whoever, whoever. Ah, I'm Darabao. First and foremost, I'm not in competition with you. Why? Because we are not playing for the same league. Dagog. The next one says, <laughs> Never have I ever stalked my ex's new hun. I have. You know, <clears throat> guys, I'll tell you why I stalk, or why I stalked this particular hun, right? I stalked this girl because I found out that my ex was dating this girl. It happened like a week after my ex and I broke up, right? So, people told me, yeah, this is this girl, this is that girl, this is what she's doing, this is that, da 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 So, I wanted to see what's up. Like, I felt like... Why is everybody telling me about this girl? Clearly, there must be something special about her. <laughs> then I go look at her profile. Oh, my God. Did I not feel good about myself? Nonetheless, we move. No shade. The next one says, never have I ever been caught cheating. What is cheating? Define cheating for me. Because personally... I don't partake in such actions. So, no. I have never. I have never cheated and I have never been caught cheating because I've never cheated. You get that, Matt? Alright. This one says, never have I ever snuck out of the house. Ciao. Ciao. I've never had a reason to sneak out of the house. Like, my parents know where I go. <laughs> so, I just do me. Like, I tell them to see. Guys, I'm going here and I leave. Like, I don't have a reason to sneak out of the house. So, no. The next one says, never have I fought over a guy. Children of God, what are you doing fighting over a man? What are you doing beating up somebody else because of a man? Are you stupid? Has your brain stopped operating? Does your, your, your brain cells, do they not work? Why? Why on earth would I fight for Indota? Oh my god, I would rather die. I'd rather be six feet under before you see me fighting for Indota. What? Never. 
never because in daughter deserves did you guys in daughter episode does not even deserve in google a band i am never not even a skipper anyway the next one says that never have i ever belonged to the streets honey <laughs> one thing about me the streets belong to me i don't belong to the streets that's how we operate on the side. That's how we operate on this side. All right? All right. The next one says, never have I ever been a city girl. Child. City girl is me. I am city girl because city girls are what? Up. So, clippity can clang to that. The next one says, never have I ever dated a man for money. I've never dated a man that has money. That's one thing about me. I've never dated a man that has money. And so I think that answers this never. I've never. Maybe one day I'll date him, but then money. But I have very strong, or I have a very strong opinion about men that have money. In terms of relationships, I have a very strong opinion about them. One that I don't want to express because I know people get touched. Ugh. Ew, imagine. Anyway, yeah, that's a conversation for another day. I might just decide to do a whole video on men that have money. Hmm. Let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see that. Because, wow, that one is a bit of a tricky situation and a tricky conversation, but an interesting one. I think it is very interesting. Anyways, guys, last. But not least, never have I ever gotten physical with another female. I have in grade seven. Um, we were at school. I for, I for, I I honestly forgot like what made me and that girl fight. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I just remember somebody. I forgot what they came to come tell me that she supposedly said about me. And I was like, no effing ways. You will not speak such rubbish about me. Back then, I was very big on protecting, like, my image and my character. Like, I was very big on do not bring my character into disrepute because you and I will fight, you know? So anything anybody said about me was a fight. Like, I would dare us. And I don't fight physically. That was the first and last time that I ever fought somebody physically. Oh, no, actually, I'm lying. My cousin and I actually once got into a fight. It was so hectic. And my mom had to come and break it up. But yeah, those are the only two times I've ever gotten physical with anybody. I'm not a physical person. Um, Yeah, it's just not my thing. Brand alignment. It doesn't have... What kind of animals? But yeah, I forgot what she said about me. And I went to her and I was like, who the F do you think you are saying such rubbish about me? And she laughed and she was going to walk away. So I was like, no ways, Mtakabao, I saw them not in front of me. So I literally, I went, oh. she turned around and she kicked me. So when she kicked me, I was like, we are sad, you know? I remember pulling her hair and I, like, I, I, I brought her down. So she was trying to like, she was fighting me with her hands by my legs because obviously at this point she's on her knees so i'm standing you understand so obviously because i'm the one standing i'm naturally going to be the one who has more power because she's on the floor you know so we went at it we went at it we went at it and then the bell went for break or oh, not the, the oh, yeah, there was no bell really like a break was over so people started walking towards the corridor and like teachers were coming as well so we had to break it up because obviously you know we don't want to get into trouble and whatever but that day i was pissed child i was like i'm gonna beat this girl's ass and i did but yeah so that is one of two times that i've ever gotten physical and definitely the last time well the last time is the second time that i got physical <laughs> but yeah i i'm not a physical person that's not my thing if i get physical you must know that i'm really 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 upset like words are failing me to express how angry i am so yeah but that's not my thing it, it shouldn't be any girl's thing actually it shouldn't be anybody's thing like getting physical is not cute guys it's really not cute and it's not necessary either right right with that being said 
we are at the end of today's video, Basanwane. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a very big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, Basanwane. And from me to you, it's nothing but love, baby. Until next time. Please, please tell me. How are you?